Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Hello and welcome to our course Marketing Management Part 1. This is week 3, we are going into our third module of this course that is Capturing Market Insights and this is lecture 3 of this module 3. So, we, are, we have till now talked about the different components of marketing information systems. So, in the previous session I have talked about the internal data or the internal reporting items that gives the information to marketers while they are trying to make the decisions. Inside that decision making I have talked about the different sources of information that is the, the information coming from the sales force, the information coming from your distribution channel partners, your order to payment cycle, likewise uh, the different ways probably a marketer can get the data or probably get the important information from its internal databases. Then I have talked about the marketing intelligence part where how you can get the information through the different routes outside the organization. And then I have talked about uh, the third thing which is becoming extremely important is database and data mining. So, the data which is getting collected uh, through the point of um, basically sale or all those different places that is getting basically stored and that is becoming a very important source of information uh, for the organization. Now, today I am going to talk about another component of this marketing uh, information system and that is something which is which gets maximum focus or when we when we talk about uh, this marketing information system people uh, uh, generally take it as probably a marketing research process though there is a there is a difference uh, as we have talked about the other components of also in this marketing information systems. So, in the marketing research process uh, I will take you through what this process is, what are the different phases inside the marketing research process and we will go into the detail of each of those uh, research phases and then we talk about the different um, research uh, methods, we will talk about uh, different ways of measuring measurement, different uh, tools and techniques also will be covered uh, in this part of the course or th this module of the course. So, in this marketing research process while I will go and uh, first thing which I will do is that I will give you a, the definition of this uh, marketing research process. So, marketing research is the systematic and objective process wherein we identify our, uh, what the process involves is identification, collection, analysis, dissemination and application of information. So, two things which are extremely important to understand in this case is it is a systematic process that it is a process which has certain phases and they come probably in a sequential manner. Though you will see some kind of back and forth um, movement during this process, but you will see the, the, these probably the flow will be like identification of what is the information need, then collecting that, that, that information, then analyzing that information, then dissemination of that analysis to the decision makers or to the marketing managers and then the application of that information. So, in that way this, this marketing research process is a basically a systematic process, then it is objective. Something which is very important for you to note down here is that marketing research process while it is being performed it has to be done objectively. Researchers personal biases should not come inside in the analysis, in the data collection process, in the, the reporting of the, the, the outcome of the research process. So, it has to be objective and it is said that it should whatever probably the information you collect it should be reported as such or it should be analyzed as such and it should be reported, reported as, as such. There should not be any probably uh, biases from the researcher's side. 
So, the process is basically systematic in objectives and it involves identification, collection, analysis, dissemination and application of information. Further to take it uh, uh, further uh, in the definition part, what is the purpose of doing this, this, this uh, identification, collection, analysis, dissemination and application of information. The idea is basically to improve the marketing decision making process and help the, the marketing managers, so that they can basically, uh, it can help them in two ways in the identification of the problem and probably also in creating the right sort of uh, or the suitable solutions in the market. So, this is this is the definition of the marketing research process. Now, what is the role of marketing research process? One thing which, which we need to understand is what is, a, what is controllable to a firm or what is controllable to a marketing manager is the marketing mix part that is 4 P's in the case of the product that is product price place and promotion and 7 P's in the case of the mark, uh, in the case of the services. Marketing research process comes probably at the core of this uh, as you can see in this uh, picture that marketing managers make the decision about these 4 controllable variables. So, the marketing research has to basically come out with the information, so that a right mix of these variables can be created and this is the overall picture of uh, this uh, probably that depicts the role of the marketing research that it understand the information needs of the managers, it looks into the different factors like marketing mix, stakeholders, different, different stakeholders like customers, employees, manage, management, suppliers and the shareholders. Then it also looks into the, the, the broader uh, uh, environmental factor that we have talked about that is pestle. It comes out with probably the necessary information that probably managers requires to make the uh, decision about uh, how to segment the market, some of the basically examples like how to segment the market, what should be the target market, what, what should be the marketing programs and what are the perform, uh, performance, what is the performance of this uh, marketing initiatives and what is the control required to implement the program, so that you can achieve your objectives. So, information required is basically is given here, it is it is generally in the four form like you, you can see, it could be like uh, identifying or uh, understanding what are the different problems that may come up in the future or uh, uh, what are the opportunities that are coming up in the market, then generate, refine and evaluate marketing performance that is tracking the performance of the marketing uh, initiative and then improving, improve understanding of marketing as a process for the organization. Now, if I talk about the marketing research, then marketing research is related with two types of broad problems. That is the two types of problems that generally uh, comes across in the marketing research process. The first one is this problem identification research that relates with that uh, the, the, the issues which, which are not so easily observable or understandable. However, uh, there is a detailed research is required to understand something which will probably be a problematic for the organization prob, uh, in the future or probably there could be the opportunities which might be coming up because of the certain changes in the external environment. So, you can see inside this problem identification research, it involves the business analysis, consumer behavior and their users pattern, sales analysis research, market share and the poten potential market size. Then we have this uh, problem solving research that deals with the specific problems that an organization is facing at a particular point of time at that particular point of time. And uh, it can it can be related with the strategic marketing part like uh, what what are the different segments in the market how the market should be segmented or probably uh, how, how the market should be targeted or which segments to be targeted so which is the most attractive segment then what should be the right kind of positioning inside those segments the, the problem solving research could also be related with the marketing mix like what is the right composition of uh, uh, four P's or within four P's, if we talk about product, what is the optimal product design or uh, that the issues uh, probably related with the new product launch like test market or test marketing 
and then uh, what, what kind of uh, product modifications are required. Then we talk about pricing that uh, what, what is the basically the suitable pricing for the new product, uh, what is the most appropriate pricing for the, pro the product, what are the competitors pricing and in, in view of that uh, competitors pricing, what should be the pricing of this product. Then you have the issues related with the distribution network, then probably it is uh, uh, also about the promotion like uh, if you have launched a new advertising campaign, how it is performing in the, in the market, what is the effect of that or how, what is the response of the, the target audience of that uh, promotional campaign. So I will briefly tell you that different phases are uh, different stages of this marketing research process. Any marketing research process starts with uh, the management decision problem, wherein management specifies what is the decision making issue in front of them. So they can say that uh, their sales is going down, the market share is coming down. Uh, so those kind of issues probably that the management face and they need to act on those issues because uh, those are probably the key issues in front of them. Related with this ma that management decision problem you have marketing research problems and the objectives of the marketing research process. So corresponding to management decision problem, you have to define what is the marketing research process. I will talk about it, but briefly I will tell you is uh, that marketing research deals with to take that decision, what kind of information is required or what is, what is causing that, uh, that uh, management issue. So uh, once you have defined what is your marketing research problem, you can come out with the specific objectives of the research what is the, what are the things that needs to be researched or what, what kind of information is required. Then you have, uh, once you have defined your research objectives, then you have to come out with your uh, plan basically how you are going to address or how you are going to fulfill those research objectives. So inside that you have to decide uh, different issues like, um, uh, y like uh, to whom to collect the data. Uh, how it has to be collected. So a lot of things will come inside it and we will go into the detail of this uh, developed research plan part. Once you have collected the, uh, then once you have uh, developed the research plan, then you have to collect the data. Uh, you have to go into the field, you have to basically do, do the data collection part. Uh, depending on what is the mode of your uh, research, whether it is a survey based research or it is a qualitative research uh, like. Um, in depth interviews. So depending on the, those different type of research, your data collection process will differ. Then comes, so once you have collected the data, the next thing that comes and that is very important is analyze this information. The data collection gives you an information and that you need to analyze, so that you can answer to your uh, marketing research objectives. And this is where a lot of basically uh, development uh, developments are happening in the industry and uh, that is why you listen time and again that uh, analytics industry is growing at a very fast pace because uh, this analyze part is becoming uh, or probably is becoming the center of the whole uh, thing. Then once you have analyzed the data, then you need to report it and you have to report in a way that uh, it is easily understandable for managers to basically act on it. And then uh, these findings have to go into this um, as an input to marketing managers so that they can take the necessary uh, decision. With this uh, I will talk little bit about based on this research process, marketing research process, you have broadly three types of uh, firms, marketing research firm. The first one is a syndicated service where uh, marketing research firms work on issues which are relevant to multiple firms or multiple organizations like um, um, some of these organizations like I, yesterday I talked about you know, Euromonitor, AC Nielsen uh, Media Research, um, we talked about CMIE, uh, the different basically marketing research firms work on uh, different kind of markets, different kind of industry, different kind of customer groups and they come out with a generic um, information which might be relevant to multiple firms or maybe they might, that the same report or the same information might be utilized by the different uh, 
competitors in the market also. So that is what uh, the syndicated service uh, firms provide that they come out with the generic reports or the overall um, picture. Then you have custom marketing research firms which work on the specific problems of a firm. So uh, uh, rather than working on an industry as a whole, they, the, this, uh, this custom uh, marketing research will focus on the specific issue of, uh, um, of a firm, the kind of uh, marketing problem it is facing. Then you have a specialty line uh, uh, firms or a specialty line um, uh, marketing research firm. These are the firms that work on the that work on the one or more than one of these uh, phases of or the stages of this marketing research uh, process. So rather than working across all the um, the the entire solution to a marketing research problem, a firm might just might be acting on uh, this. Uh, analyze information part that is what I was saying like lot of firms are uh, building competency or they work only on the analysis of the data. Then you have a couple of firms in the online space which, which collect the data for you. So you will see that they only work uh, they only collect the data for uh, the specific marketing research problems. Uh, on the other side there are firms which basically work on the analysis part they have the uh, competence on the analyzing a particular type of data or the they have uh, basically competency in a certain type of uh, research techniques. So that is what they focus on analyzing the information. There are firms in fact uh, they help you in reporting your uh, findings also. So how can you come across uh, with reports which, uh, which, ha which, which are very easy for the, the probably the viewers or the readers to come across and then based on that they can make the decision. So you will see that specialty line firms rather than focus, focusing on across the process, they focus on one or more than one stages of the process. I will talk about this uh, first thing that comes into this uh, marketing research process is deciding on the management decision problem and then deciding on uh, marketing research problem. While we define this marketing research problem what we do is very important is and in this process what generally happens is that you talk to the decision makers. So, so you talk to your marketing managers. Uh, if it is a, an outside firm which is performing the process they will come and they will talk, they will talk to their clients or if it is an in-house marketing research department they will go and talk to the, the concerned decision makers about the decision making situation. So they, from there they will try to clarify what is the, the context of the management decision problem and what are the constraints, what are the limitations uh, that they, they, they have to face. With all that those information uh, then probably they also t uh, go into the expert interview. The, they, they are industry expert, they are people who, who are expert in certain processes, they will tell you like. Uh, why certain kind of things are faced by the organization. So that further clarifies the, the issues re which are related with any uh, management decision problem or marketing research problem. Then you have secondary source analysis, you go into the secondary research, you look into the literature, you look into the secondary databases to understand why basically this kind of issues comes and what is the related things uh, along with those issues. Then you go into the qualitative research where you can talk to basically the customers of the company uh, or the uh, other stakeholders of the organizations. You conduct different type of uh, qualitative research to further clarify and uh, come out with a uh, very specific or very clear cut uh, marketing research uh, problem definition. Now a little bit about this what is this management decision problem marketing research problem. I will explain to you through certain examples like management decision problem is a, is a decision making situation that a manager is facing inside an organization like uh, if, if based on the, the monthly data is seeing that his market share is going down. So that is something which is uh, of worry to that manager and he, need, he needs to arrest that situation. So uh, here you will see that um, management decision problem is how, how the loss of the market share share should be arrested. Then the other um, management decision problem could be that should the market be segmented differently. So 
why this kind of problem will come is like some it happens with the, all the markets and um, across all the industry that with the changes in the time with the change coming up uh, or the different types of offering that becomes available uh, over the period of time in the market and the changes in the customer preferences uh, the way the, the the market has been segmented previously the basis of the segmentation will change and in that case uh, you will see that your marketing programs are not that effective so from there the the marketing managers uh, generally face this problem of should the market be segmented differently then uh, you could have a decision issue like uh, should a new product be introduced in the market or it should not be introduced so that that is another thing that uh, that is something very uh, of um, utmost importance today in the competitive business environment then you will see that should the promotional budget be increased so if you see that you are not achieving certain kind of targets uh, from for from your marketing campaign then you will see that uh, should the budget be increased corresponding to this management decision problem i'll go on each one of this corresponding uh, marketing research problem so how the the the, the market the, the management decision problem is how should the loss of market share be arrested corresponding to this you have a marketing research problem what is leading to erosion in ma our market share so this is the decision situation like you have to arrest the market share corresponding to that in a marketing research problem you have to research out or you have to understand that what actually leads to the erosion in market share or to what are the things based on which um, companies i mean any company's market share is dependent on so then the should the market be segmented differently now corresponding to this you have a marketing research problem what criteria actually determine consumer preferences so as i said like um, uh, that the consumer preferences change over the period of time if you go back probably two, two decades back you will see the cars were used to be purchased only for the transportation need and probably as, as something uh, that has a high mileage and the, the car, uh, probably the initial cost has to be low so uh, so the value for money was important now you will see there is a that segment might still be there but you will also see the market has shifted from that and you will see that um, uh, consumers are also going for uh, are preferring the products which have a lot more features uh, they 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 are basically more safe and convenient so other criteria are also coming into the consumer decision making process and that that will ultimately affect the market segmentation of any offering so should the market be segmented differently corresponding to that you have a marketing research problem that is what criteria actually determine consumer preferences so if you can understand what determines consumer preferences so based on the those key criteria you can segment the market accordingly then the next question comes uh, can the new product be launched should a new product be launched for that uh, the the marketing research problem is does there exist an unfulfilled demand so if a new product has to be launched in the market is there a need is there some need which has not been fulfilled in the market and if that need has not been fulfilled then probably the, it makes sense for a company to launch the product then you have uh, the last uh, example which i talked about uh, in uh, management decision problem was should the promotional budget be increased now the marketing research problem corresponding to that is is existing budget not enough to create desired level of uh, your marketing uh, promotional objectives a is your existing campaign or is is the exi existing budget is unable to give you the kind of uh, or provide you or help you in attaining the your promotional campaign objectives so these are basically the marketing research problem if you if you would have noticed that the the relationship between management decision problem and the marketing research problem there is a causal relationship marketing research problem uh, there is a there is a problem with this sign of the this causal thing marketing research problem actually are basically the cause of the effect of this uh, management decision problem 
So, management decision problem is a basically effect and marketing research problem is a basically the cause of that effect. So, they, this, this, this relationship of this, this causal relationship exists between these two. Then you when we talk about this defining the marketing research problem, it is very important when, when you are talking to the different uh, people like decision makers, you are talking to expert, you are looking into the secondary sources of analysis uh, and also going into the qualitative research. What you should do is uh, that you should come out with a very um, clear cut definition of your problem in the sense you should know what are the decision alternatives and what decision has to be made, what are the different alternatives, what are the basically constraint or the background of uh, that research problem, uh, what is the past or the background of uh, from where this uh, problem is originating. And then you have to also specify very clearly that you should understand uh, that what is to be researched that is the content and the scope of this marketing research problem. So, whether you are if you are talking about market share, then you are going to talk only about market share or probably something related with the other things also like uh, you will see your market share is going down. Sometimes it happens with as the market matures uh, a lot of competitors comes in and then the kind of market share you initially had supposedly you had the initial market share of 70 percent when you begin with but today the market has matured and the market size has gone up. So, you have to also see the market size and the sales also. So, you have to basically understand the, the, the problem as a whole and then you have to define basically the scope of the problem like uh, uh, some of the things like uh, if you talk about the sales whether you are going to talk about the sales only in a particular region or probably in the whole country or probably only to a specific time period. So, all those things needs to be defined very clearly and then based on that marketing research problem you need to state your research objectives very clearly. So, I will end my session at this point of time and when we will meet we will look into the different other stages of the marketing research process and then we will talk about the different approaches to research, different types of research process and we will also go into uh, in depth into the different techniques of the marketing research process. So, thank you very much for today.